I'm Dr. Philip Conkle with Aurora Advanced Healthcare Orthopedics. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with a subspecialty interest in surgery of the hand. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Dupuytren's disease. This is an inherited condition during which a tissue in the palm of the hand called the palmar fascia begins to become thick, create nodules or bumps, and eventually create cords that can in some situations cause finger joint contractures. These contractures can limit the function and the use of the hand. Sometimes they'll cause a little pain and discomfort, but usually it's an issue with stiffness. Traditionally, patients with contractures who had problems with their use of the hand would require surgery to correct this. More recently, it's become available that we can use a enzyme, trade name is Zioflex, it's also known as collagenase, which dissolves these cords. Recently, this past February, the FDA approved its use in humans. It's been studied extensively in research. The procedure that we're going to see involves injection of a small amount of the Zioflex into the contracted cord. The contracted cord then is allowed to dissolve over a period of 24 hours, and the patients will come back to have a manipulation done to regain their flexibility. In some situations, they recover their flexibility on their own without requiring a manipulation. This contracture is also in the finger joint but much more severe, but the injection procedure is the same. We're going to inject an enzyme known as collagenase, which is trade name Zioflex, <clears throat> and the goal is going to get to be to get this tight band here to dissolve so that his fingers can again move. Now you're going to feel a little sting and a little pressure. I can't use any anesthetics for this as we inject. But I do not think it will be terribly severe. So here we go. Little sting. And then a little feeling of pressure. Now we're going to redirect and try to inject a little more of the tendon uh, of the cord. What did you say to me before we started? Don't inject your tendon, right? All right, we're all done. This has been a little over a day from the first injection for Zioflex. Of course, a little swelling is expected, and we had a little bit of bruising, and there was a little bit of pain associated with it. We're going to inject a little bit of local anesthetic and do our first manipulation. Hopefully the local anesthetics help that. Did you feel it? I feel something like it broke. <laughs> Absolutely. Now I don't know if the camera picked that up, but there was a little crunching snap. And you see now we've got some great extension there, as is uh, common, the skin being so tight there's a little skin tear there, but that will heal itself up. Now, it felt like there was a, it was like a, a, a shell, and it broke the shell, that's how it felt. Yep, yep. And there is almost full extension, that is proximal interphalangeal joint. Now, without trying to hyperextend the skin too much, I'd say it's Today been a success. Today we manipulated that right ring finger at the PIP joint, and as you can see, he's got a little bit of skin tear from the manipulation. What we're going to do is apply a light dressing to that area and give him a home exercise program on daily dressing changes as well as range of motion. And then he will go down and see our therapist downstairs for an extension night split.
Dr. Conkle just manipulated his right ring finger. Um, he had the Zioflex injections about 36 hours ago. And Dr. Conkle, um, actually the patient heard a pop at home, but Dr. Conkle also straightened the finger out a little bit. So now we're just going to have the patient make a fist for me. And then we're going to have him stretch right back out. Very good. Excellent. Here we are, it's been 36 hours, and tell me what happened? Well, it, it was itching so badly, I just went like this and it snapped and I was it's, it's right back in the... And there you are, it straightens it. all the way out. Yep. Can you make a fist? Yes, but it's a little sore right in there. Sure, a little bruised, and yeah. then stretch on out. Good. Now, that's not uncommon sometimes for these to rupture before you actually have to have them manipulated. And so today, you're going to go down to see the therapist, they're going to make you a night splint and you'll wear that on that finger for the next four months only when you're sleeping. Otherwise just take it easy with the bruise until it's feeling better and make sure you do a little bit of stretching just like you're doing here for me today mm -hmm. every day. And I should see you back to recheck your finger make sure it's not tightening up again somewhere in the next two to three weeks. Well it looks like today's been a pretty successful day. Three people had treatments, three people have had success, as you had an opportunity to see. I'm pretty pleased with how the day has gone so far.